guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Now guys, this is the um, complete update on the cacti and succulent plant polytunnel. And I'm going to do a complete tour. Now everything has been put away. I'm going to do a complete tour of how everything looks. And I'm going to take the camera slowly around so you can have an idea of how everything is looking. As I say, it's been a few days since everything has been put away and everything's starting to settle in here. As you can see, it's great space, um, absolutely fantastic size polytunnel for me and Hans. This is a dream come true for us. Obviously, as mentioned before in the previous videos, we are going to be looking out for a greenhouse um, of um, possibly a glass or polycarbonate of this size but as you can imagine a greenhouse this side will be a few thousand so um, until now we've got the polytunnel and then the coming uh, weeks we're going to be bubble wrapping it from top to bottom and um, completely insulating it entirely and um, trying to do the best we, we think in a few different methods for heating looks like we may go with one of the oil filled radiators a large one that we can put right in the center here possibly get a fan going as well to distribute the heat and have it set on a thermostat so it kicks on if the temperature drops below uh, 3 to 4 C which um, we are lucky here in Ireland it's very mild mild climate so we may only need to have the heater on every now and then possibly during the very coldest spell so we Trying to do it the most economically as possible but anyway this is the tour and i'm going to start from top to bottom and i'm just going to whip the camera around very slowly so you can get to see what we've got here um this is the plant stand as you see there's a selection of succulents on there and a few cacti a few different things there some uh heather's honzi walking about he's uh tidying up the garden <laughs> he's doing a great job there and uh as you see some of the this one here i absolutely love um <laughs> this is a ray bootier um absolutely amazing it has beautiful orange flowers on it and uh, this one obviously we need to do a bit of pruning some of the plants are in desperate need of pruning but uh we're going to be doing that over the the next coming weeks now everything's settled in to show you there some calanchoes up there too and a clyster cactus and um show you the bottom here we have the apuntia this is an amazing one here. It's the brown felted bunny's ears. And this one is Hans's beautiful Stephanotis floribunda plant here, which has the most amazing, incredible scented, beautiful white flowers that flowered for us before, before we moved house. So we were really lucky there. And we've got that tied up onto, as a vine growing into the roof here. And that's, this one is the Christmas cactus, or I should really say strictly a Thanksgiving cactus, because it has the, um, the claw-like edges rather than the smooth edges. And and um, if you're not familiar, I've done a video on how to tell the difference between Christmas cactus and Thanksgiving cactus and uh, links up above to that video. You know why this is a Thanksgiving one. It's all in bud, which is wonderful since we moved it in here. So this is going to make an amazing display here. And some more um, cacti and succulents in the hanging basket here. The cedar morganium and um, some echeverias. Uh, more echeverias here, some more epiphytes there which is wonderful there's the big epiphytic um lovely big um seed pod there from the pollination video so that's some of them then back onto the floor again um so a selection of apuntias here burgerianas and um some more chilies these are hans's chili plants they are amazing look at them chilies guys this is fantastic and also his other beautiful plant there as well the flame tree as they call it and some more camisarius here as well and um, these camisarius by the way mick the grumpy gardener if you're watching this video <laughs> i've got these cuttings of this for you and i'm so sorry we have not sent your cuttings off it's been chaos you will definitely get them in the coming uh, days i promise you and we potted them up for you from here and um some more um apuntias the, the miniature micro daisies um um I think it's called Micro Daisy's Rafida Minima, this one. And um, a few select. This is a Sawaru from Groovy Man in 1968, gave us there. That's doing so well. And a selection now. These are Preskias. These are, believe it or not, this is actually a cactus, guys. Um, it is actually, it looks like a succulent or normal plant, even with the leaves, but it is a cactus. Um, Preskia, beautiful, beautiful. And um, selection here of different types of cacti here. 
and underneath we have some more Presca. We also have some aloes, a selection under there, some Bohawarthia, a bit of Gasteria, um, Aenium. Now the Aenium unfortunately fell over in the van, as you can see, so I've had to treat it completely as a cutting. So um, fingers crossed that should recover. But uh, more aloes there. These are what we grew from seed that um, wonderful Rachel from Garden Duenza gifted me. So um, Rachel, they're doing amazing as you can see. More aloes under there. And um, this is an Epiphyllum Akamanii. I had to give it a good trim down for the house move um, there. And some Crassulas here, a selection on here. And take onto the table. We've got some more Gasterias here. Um, these are Gasterias here. A selection of different ones, aloe. These are the ones that uh, came apart. We had to treat as cuttings. This one is absolutely, I love this one. And um, this is a variegated one as well. Another one here, all different gasterias, aloes, all different ones. These are also what we grew from seed. Um, this one obviously is an Echinocactus grusonii, nicknamed the mother-in-law's chair. It's the type of chair cactus that you get the, the in-law, mother-in-law to sit on. <laughs> And uh, here we are, more Gasterias, a little selection here. And these are the Apuntia humifusers that I grew from seed a couple of years ago. They are doing remarkable, and these are very winter hardy, so I know these will be okay in here. Some more here, different selection of um, Apuntias, as you can see. And here we've got the Astrophytum nudum myristigma that's coming into bud, so hopefully that should be flowering in the next couple of days or so. This one is one of the um, Christrate. It's a Chrysocactus Christrate um, cactus. It's wonderful. And you know what's great? This is the first time, guys, that me and Hans have been able to actually fully, actually fully display our plants because we've never really had the space. They've always been, even in the conservatory in the other greenhouse we had, it was very small. So we, we just had everything on top of each other. But here we can properly display everything so everything gets seen. So this is a dream for us and um lovely um here as well which is <laughs> these plants are sort of nicknamed the old man cactus i nicknamed this one einstein it's actually a cephalocereus um due to the big woolly hair and this is um a so that's a cephalocereus and that is an esbostoa um although they look similar they're different different uh cacti and there's also hans's cloister cactus in the back there it's a mammalia nicknamed the red-headed irish man <laughs> due to the red hair quite appropriate for here when you think of being in ireland and the ferro cactus here it's just wonderful guys to actually give you a proper tour of our collection and so you can actually see what we've got because before as i said we were stuck for space and although we have moved into a northern island into a much smaller property we are actually blessed to have a wonderful landlord that is happy for us to have a big polytunnel out the back um, and also we're going to have a big greenhouse when we replace the polytunnel he doesn't mind at all and also um, he loves gardening so we're very blessed like that um, and we have the most amazing neighbours too by the way so um, we're very very lucky and again some hanging baskets here some of the epiphytes which we've got hanging baskets and what I love by the way here in Belfast is the most amazing pound stretcher shop and don't laugh guys it's one of them bargain shops they have an incredible gardening selection we got these hanging hanging baskets for like something ridiculous like a pound and they're amazing so when we're back in there I'm going to do a little bit of a tour around you will not believe it guys I'm going to be going and getting some uh, fleece sheeting because obviously we are going to be heating the polytunnel as I said probably getting a big big oil heating we're going to sort that out and um, what we're going to be doing some of the plants that they're not particularly cold hardy but may not be the best we have got some pilosocereus cacti here that can be they don't like too cold temperatures. We're going to be possibly covering them all with fleece sheeting, um, which we're going to be getting also from the garden centres, covering them from top to bottom. As I say, it's mainly to overwinter them, and we're going to be having the heater on anyway in here. So um, they should be pretty well protected. It's actually really lovely and warm in here, even though it's overcast today. It is really warm. The polytunnel is really keeping the heat, especially with the sandbags. As you see, it's a selection of all our serious type cacti here. Big, big selection, lots of different ones. Pylocereus, Trichocereus, Parodia. Um, this one is making a great recovery because it actually flopped when we moved house in the van and it hasn't broken or anything like that. It just went a bit sorry for itself and it's starting to firm up and lift up again, which is great. By the way, Olga, you, um, Olga, our wonderful friend Olga, who lives in Greece, 
Please check out her amazing cacti and succulent channel, by the way. Um, Olga has the most incredible cacti and succulent channel. Links up above to that. Um, you'll love her videos. And Olga, thank you for the tip about saying about the serious baby it just needed a bit of a water. We did give it a water and it's starting to pick up, as you can see, it's firming up. So that was a great tip. And as I say, guys, please do check out Olga's channel because she is just amazing, beautiful, beautiful plants on there. And um, she's very, very supportive as well. So thank you, Olga. And um, show you all these lovely collection. Here's a selection. Now, this plant is one that um, Hans's pilot says he grew from seed. It fell over in the van and snapped in three pieces. <gasps> but luckily, all three pieces, including the bottom, is healed over nicely as you see it's formed a thick callus. That will reshoot itself in the spring. And the two cuttings, the two parts that broke off, we're treating as cuttings and we'll be potting them up, keeping them dry then until the spring when it should reshoot again. And uh, this is Hansi's amazing Trichocereus that is humongous, soon touching the roof. <laughs> and that he grew from himself from seed 43 years ago. So gosh, I mean, isn't that incredible? As I say, there's more hanging baskets here or mixture of epiphytic cacti, all different types. As I say, these will be kept sort of slightly damp during the, the winter as they do like to be kept slightly watered. Um, and then more in the basket, so I'll just show you here. I'll just show you this one here. This is the orange, orange flowering Slumberga truncata. So I'm so wonderful to see that coming up in bud, guys. And sorry if this is going to be a bit of a long video, but I can't scoot round with the camera because I want to make sure that you do see everything. This is the first time we've actually been able to show you the collection properly, um, where it is displayed enough to actually show you guys. So we're happy about this. And a mixture then of different type of succulents, some of Puntia micro daisies mixture of succulents as i say these this is the, the bowl they a lot of things need to be repotted and everything like that but because of the time of year now we're going to leave a lot of it until the spring and by the way guys we're going to be propagating a lot of these plants and as i say we are going to be hopefully opening an online garden nursery in the spring where we're going to be selling cuttings and seeds and cacti babies and everything via online so stay tuned for that it's probably not going to be until the spring now because obviously it's coming into the winter and we have a lot of jobs to do in the house as well as in the the polytunnel so um now this by the way karina i have to mention also karina's channel fifi um on on a youtube here links up above to karina's amazing channel she has some absolutely beautiful plants orchids and everything and she's very knowledgeable and um this was actually a beautiful cutting that uh, Karina gave me um, possibly just before Christmas last year and look at that isn't it absolutely beautiful it's doing so well so thank you so much Karina and links up above to Karina's amazing channel she has some beautiful plant videos on there she lives in Canada with her with her, her lovely daughter Ella so um thank you Karina for all of your support and please do check out Karina's channel and subscribe and to show you here um lovely agaves these were gifted to to us by our wonderful friend shane walsh and uh, shane thank you again for your patience we have got your cuttings here and we have some little plant babies for you that we're going to be posting off in the coming days as i say we only just getting everything together at the moment and uh here all selection of succulents mainly here these all cuttings all being propagated and um Hawarthia and some mixture of succulents everything aloes here some echeverias they seem to be doing like considering a lot of them were boxed up for two weeks during the move um i have to say there was very little if any trouble other than a little bit of damage to some of the tall serious ones other than that everything was pretty much good and um lovely aloe there and this beautiful plant here so um and this guy's isn't he hilarious now he actually when i watered him again in the spring this is actually a cloister cactus um a winteri i cut in i watered him in the spring and he split open because he cracked up he fattened up harmless but um i made a video on this called what happens when your cactus has had too much to drink <laughs> and uh, links up above to that video you have to check it out anyway it made a great recovery and it sent two little arms since isn't it cute Hello, it reminds me of the little cactus girl I have at the beginning of my intros. <laughs> so um, just, just think it's really cute, that's all. <laughs> and um, just take you a bit round here. 
Now, as I say, now we've got the carnivores here, the carnivorous plants. Got a mixture of a couple of Irish butterworts there. This one is more of a tropical one. May have to bring that in. The, the pinguic latina may need to go into the house for the winter, but so far it's okay here. Selection of all different carnivorous plants. These are seedlings that I grew from seed. How to grow Venus flight up from seed. These are the seedlings. I won't get too close. It's impossible to get the macro on, but um, they seem to have travelled really well as well. And they're pretty cold hardy too, so they'll be overwintering in the greenhouse. And uh, selection here of Camaceriuses. All here, all a different selection of a few different ones. Echinopsis. This plant I had to take a complete cut from because it uh, went very brown looking. It wasn't rotting, but it was very unsightly. So I've had to cut that and hopefully it should side shoot, which it has done the new shoot there. And uh, some more little apuntias. That sort of had a bad case of spider mite, that uh, uh, gymnocolysium. Hopefully it should recover. And um, these ones as well, a bit, bit sun scorched, but other than that, pretty much okay. <laughs> and um, selection there as you can see a mixture of everything really now just show you around here i think the uh, the video may have cut off then i think it's a 15 minute maximum and then it cuts off so i'm not sure how much you've seen of the video i think i was around here when i noticed it had stopped recording but um, a selection of all different types of plants here um again more apuntias we've got a good variety and um echinopsis um, all different types and it's good to see Hans's Echinopsis coming into bud again. Now these buds have stayed on for the house move. The one fell off. This one's so far so good. It's still firm. It may stay or it may fall off but fingers crossed and uh, just show you here. Selection of many many different things. The good news is um, Hans's um, Parodia Magnifica or Nota Cactus Magnifica, depending on what you want to call it. It's got the two names, now put into the Parodia category. But that's got seed because we cross-pollinated it with mine, so that's exciting. Again, a selection of all different here than Parodia Magnificas. I love the, um, the beautiful patterning on these gorgeous cacti, guys. So beautiful, it really is. And look at all the pups on that, so beautiful. And um, again, more here. And uh, Echinocereus gentry cucumis. So we've got two different types here. This one's Hansi's and this one's mine. I like to think they're all our plants, but you know, we say Hansi's are mine. <laughs> all ours together. They're actually, they're very similar cacti, same variety, but you can see the difference. Um, this one has more of the smaller patterning in the spination, darker colour. And this one has more of the less spination and it's also a lighter green colour. And uh, here are some more Camaceras, and here Mammillaria as well. This one is beautiful. Um, Cylindra Rapuntia here of Hans is, is just incredible. Raybutia as well. That's absolutely beautiful. Raybutia of Perplex, and it has the most beautiful pink flowers in the spring. And again, little ball garden there. Going to need to do a bit of preening, preening and pruning on on these in the next. Uh, oops, the next couple of weeks. Keep banging, banging my head on these uh, these hanging baskets. And again, a big echinopsis there. And beautiful aloe here, arborescens of Hans's. Isn't that incredible? This is Tilans Tilansia. And Collius here, beautiful colour on this. And Clarodendrum as well, another aloe. And this beautiful, beautiful one as well. Is it, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of this one now. Um, Oh, anyway, I do know the name. <laughs> my my uh, mind has gone blank, guys. But we have a selection of everything. And as I say, more Nepenthes appear. It's great as well. The Nepenthes can take pretty cool temperatures. I've got my old, uh, very old Nepenthes here too. I don't know if I've shown you these ones. A selection of Epiphytes again. And we've got underneath, we've got all the plant pots all sorted in plant order. And... Um, We've got a little selection underneath. We have all the all the gardening stuff as well and all the soil and everything like that. So it's great to have so much space. I have everything displayed. This is like a dream for us. It really, really is. And as I say, our total dream then is to get a proper greenhouse of this size arranged in the coming weeks or possibly months, depending on our finances. 
but um, this is certainly helping us out with this with the space and everything here so guys I just want to thank you so much for all of your incredible support it has been very very challenging and very stressful for me and Hans to move house as you know we've gone from having a, a very large sort of five bedroom house that we rented with massive windows a big big beautiful garden um, a greenhouse and a huge conservatory it's going to a much smaller house which is beautiful by the way we love it and um, obviously less window space and everything so it's been very challenging oh where do we put all the plants but as i say we have been blessed with a lovely landlord that's happy for us to have a greenhouse at the back south facing position all slabbed as well so we don't have to worry about getting the tiles down and um, this is going to be our first year overwinter them totally in in a greenhouse certainly a polytunnel and we have a little grow room plant room upstairs that um, is all been finished also which I'll do a little tour of afterwards <laughs> and um, that's for putting the ones that really are not cold hardy in any form as I say um, the trick with overwintering cacti and succulents is you don't want them to be kept warm you don't really want them to carry on growing you just want to overwinter them but they need to be kept frost free and some of the plants in here as you see is a selection of many different types of cacti and succulents some need a minimum of of 10 degrees some need a minimum of two some can take freezing temperatures so we sort of go into a happy medium and keeping them to about four degree um, from my experience before I have had them in a greenhouse when I lived in England I kept them about three to four degree and I had some that weren't cold hardy pyloceris and everything and the trick is if you keep them dry and cool and bubble wrap them and stop the frost off they should be okay so we're going to be sharing this journey with you and um, again apologies for the long video but I wanted to do a complete tour around and um, again thank you all for your incredible support um, me and Hans have could I tell you what it, as I said it has been challenging the house move um, our plants are our babies and you guys your comments your support your watching cannot thank you enough you know I get up in the mornings have my, my cup of coffee and I read all your comments and I try to reply to as many as I physically can and just to thank everybody because I say you've all been sorry for getting emotional <laughs> you've all been absolutely incredible and the support that you have given us has just been oh thank you thank you thank you so um guys <laughs> hope you enjoyed the tour around and I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power from Belfast <laughs> and until the next video guys